I welcome everyone to another exciting episode of Mineral Mining. Mineral Mining. Mineral Mining is a, a platform we've developed to reach out to people concerning everything that is involved in mineral, the science of mineral and mining in this country. Um, last time we posted a video on geomotive equipment. If I proceed, I'm still NC Gideon. For some people that are new to this platform. Okay, the last video we posted was actually to showcase the functionality of uh, geomotive equipment. Geomotive equipment is ERT equipment, um, uh, SP equipment, and IP equipment. It's actually equipment we can used to do so much in terms of mineral exploration, in terms of water detection, in terms of cave exploration, in terms of geotechnicals, in terms of environmental study and so on. So Geomative Studio application is just an interface um, software you can use to interact with your laptop and uh, the system while working in the field or before you work in the field. Actually, today we we'll just want to look at how to make use of this application. First of all, it's just about three things we'll look at. This is how to set up a project using this application, how to set up your scripts. You need to write a script and how to synchronize your geomatics studio with your mainframe. Mainframe is actually the main studio. Okay, this is Geomative Studio. Geomative Studio, if you look at the menu, we have five projects, scripts, divide, function, language, windows, and help. Let's look at the project. The project main view. This is the project main view. Project main view, for you to go to the field, you need to actually define your project you are going into. You have to first of all create local projects. When you create local project, the local project could have, could be anything. It could be gold, gold project or copper project as the case may be let's just use use ocean ocean gold project ocean gold gold project then the location is ocean that actually to i might give you the dates then how many days are you using? You are using seven days in the field. NC Gideon as your project supervisor, on-site supervisor, master C. Then your project manager, quality assurance personnel. Then the standard you're going to use in the remark. Then you can just OK it. When you OK it, you can see executed successfully. Then it will give you another window. You can see tax name, device, and all that. You can see it has formed a database for you, for the project. Now, everything you are going to do in the field, all when you transfer the project, all this field will be filled up. OK, the next one is the scripts. If you look at the IEC, it will form Ocean Good Project. Ocean Good Project. You can combine the task, you can delete, and you can form another one. Then this is scripts. How do you form script? You right click your scripts. The script under the scripts. Remember, the system can do 1D survey, 2D survey, and 3D survey. So let's just look at 1D survey. As you want to do 1D survey for some of us that actually into other investigation. Uh, under the configuration, you can see different configurations, dipole, 3 pvx, 4 pvx here, mid-gradient, composite profiling, and you can also customize your configuration. Okay, so we'll start with script name. What is the script name? We'll say 1dvx. For example, we're using 1d, 1dvx. You know, operator... You write the name of your operator, operator here. Then we are using four 
PVEX. This is a slow media array. Then this shows this is your current, this is for your current, what is for your potential. You can see this is your MN, then this is your AB, then this is the stacking. You can leave it at two or three or whatever the case may be. Then your AB, whatever you know, your configuration, what do you want to use as your AB. And then this is what you want to use starting point as, as your potentials. Then you save. Sorry, you've not finished, you add. Then when you add, you see the ID form. You can see the AB is here, you can see your AB, A is 5, B is 6, and your geometric factor is already formed. It's already calculated your geometric factor based on your AB. Then the same way you go on and on, say the next one is 7.5. You change your 7.5 you say add you know you keep adding you keep adding you keep adding you keep adding this is the script you're going to use for the whole of your survey even if you are using 20 you are you're trying to do about 20 points sounding or title as the case may be this is you're going to form only one script the way you may you form one script that is the only script you will be using in the field every time so you can actually change it if you are changing your configuration. You can come back and change your scripts. So you can see the way you do, you add and you add, you keep on. At the end of the day, you save. Once you save, it brings you to this platform. You can see it has formed a database for you. So when you are going to transfer your data, all this field, everything will be filled up here. Then let's look at the 2d survey what it looks like you click there and you form 2d survey this is your script name you form 2d survey then your operator you write the operator then remark then your array you are ready a lot of arrays you can support in 2d you can see all of them winner alpha winner beta and gamma Pole, dipole, pole, pole, dipole, dipole. Let's choose dipole, dipole. This is one of the commonest array usually used um, in 2D. Then, electric number. How many electric system are you using? This is a multi electrode equipment. Are you using 48, 50, 100, 150, 200, as the case may be? Let's assume for me, I'm using 48 electrode system. Then, how do you want to acquire your data? Do you want your data to come in? Come in? Are you acquiring by selection, rolling selection, or by layers? I usually use layers. Then, what else do you need to form? Then, your spacing is very important. You need to change your spacing. What spacing do you want to use? 10 meters, 5 meters, as the case may be. Then, that is your spacing. At the end of the day, if everything is, is okay, it looks fine, you create your scripts. When you create your script, you see this looks your set of section, what it's going to look like. So this is actually telling you that you have up to 39. You are going to have it about 39 layers. You can see, you're going to have 39 layers. And if you look at here, it will show you all the data you're going to acquire in the field. That means you're going to acquire 900 data points. 900 data points. 900 data points will take you about... Uh, depending on the stacking this can take about three hours four hours to acquire in the field you can also see layer here from 1 to 39 so that means that this is the first layer second layer third layer fourth layer so your data position will be going by layer layer by layer as what we're just choosing here layer by layer if we zoom in on this you can see you can actually do some manipulations here this means it is actually giving numbers to all the data you're going to acquire in the field. You can decide to acquire some and decide to leave some depending on actually what you can see. Number one, if I click here, it's unchecked already. It means that this, if this is unchecked, this is not going to be acquired. I cannot check, uncheck, cannot check, or check them. So each number you click here, actually, you can see that it has shown you the geometric factor. The MN is your potential, that is your, your P1 and your P2, while your a, B are your current, your C1, and your C2. So this is actually what you see in 2D scripts. Then you can save. 
Similarly, you see, you see to this survey actually formed as a script. You can see the properties here. Then you can see the database of what you've actually um, done. Then let's look at the 3D scripts. Okay, let's look at 3D data acquisition. Then you form a new script. Then you write a 3D survey as the case may be. We choose our operator NC Gideon. Then array, what kind of array are you using? You choose dipole, dipole. Then measurements. You can fit this or that, the case may be. Then a pole distance. Let's assume we just have 100 meters uh, pole distance. And that of our, what kind of grid are we forming? We're forming 10 by 10 grid. The grid size. Stain and our stacking here. Let's assume we are using two. That's all you form. You see, immediately it will form a database for your 3D data acquisition. So actually, this is what you see. If you go to the script name, you see 3D survey. If you go to 2D, you see 2D survey. These are the scripts you actually formed before. 1D survey and all that on that script. Now, if you finish forming your script, you form your project, you form your script. The next one is what we call uh, synchronization. This is synchronization. You go into synchronization. Synchronization is actually where you synchronize the data you form from your laptop and upload them to your, to your mainframe before you move to your field. So immediately you do that. If your mainframe is connected, it will appear here with the serial number. You come in here, you're going to see all the scripts you've written. Now, this is script in Geomatic Studio. The script you've written will appear here. Now, if we go here, for example, and say new project, all the project will actually appear here. Then you can see this is tax in the mainframe. All the projects that is in the mainframe will appear here. Then you add. Once you add, everything will be uploaded. In our next video, we're gonna actually try to have a connect our mainframe to this. We're gonna do synchronization video just for you to see how the data actually are synchronized, how they actually um, uh, come in, upload, and download. So in this video, we might not be able to cover that, but I just want to show you the synchronization platform. Then this is your scripts. The script in the Geomatic Studio will appear here. Once you click download, the scripts all will be downloaded in the mainframe. So you know you are good to go. So that is it. Then this is just an intro to how you can form your project, write your speed, and synchronize that. We're going to find um, um, another, another way we will uh, incorporate our synchronization right life in the field to this, uh, to this uh, um, uh, application. I, I know that this model actually helps so much for further inquiries if you think you have some questions a lot of things to do to to ask us please don't hesitate to contact us through our websites through our youtubes and through our numbers and keep subscribing for you to get any of our videos we keep uploading videos on weekly basis so please don't fail to subscribe Thank you very much and have a blessed day.